I just finished planting my red wing red onions in my first bed left side. I've divided this garden up this year into beds. Each bed is four foot wide and 25 feet long and there's 18 inches in between each bed to walk. You'll see I have there's the first bed bed two which is going to be for cherry tomatoes bed three which I don't think I've decided yet what's gonna go there bed four will be for strawberries I've got the plastic laid out strawberries should be coming sometime next week bed five is gonna be for peas and beans which are already in well the peas are already in the beans not yet a little too cold bed six is gonna be for broccoli cauliflower, I'm pretty sure. Bed seven will be for the larger tomatoes, such as the boxcar willies I'll be showing you shortly that I've started. Be in my next video, probably. And the last bed, bed eight, will be for cucumbers only. I'm gonna put a bunch of cucumbers, hoping to get a lot of cucumbers this year. And what you see along here, I have my perennials, my Rhubarb in the front. The asparagus is going to get set up in the back. Didn't get time to move it yet. And behind the where the asparagus is going to be is going to be the yellow watermelon. And in front of it is going to be the red watermelon. They're going to be a bush sugar baby. I'll do one more quick zoom in on the onions I just put in. Onions are pretty easy to put in. Um, you could start them from sets. You could start them from seed if you have a lot of time which I don't. I don't have a long growing season. I started these, I purchased these already grown. So pretty much all I had to do was just push them into the ground about an inch, water them, and they're going to take hold all on their own. And the variety I put in was called Red Wing. And as you can see, there's still a pretty decent amount of room left in this four foot bed. In the center, I'm going to be putting in lettuce. And to the right side, I'm going to be putting in carrots. Uh, the point of the garden this year is to try to maximize space as much as possible. Do one more quick pan of the garden. And as you can see in the tip, tippy back corner, like where row 8 is, there's some cleanup still needs to be done. But that's coming in the next day or two.